I think there's three three main ways that, that people make money off of the internet, off of products on the internet. The the first is with SaaS based um, businesses, software as a service. It's typically when when people sort of come in and create a, a web service, a web application that streamlines a process that was traditionally done often by, by somebody using Excel and pulling information in from a bunch of different sources and trying to manage it by hand in Excel. And so people will create a, a web service which uses a database, is searchable, and really has sort of step-by-step -step processes for helping people sort of manage this. One example of this is a company that I worked with at the iAccelerator called RecruiterBox. So they're an applicant tracking service. Uh, since they're working with smaller companies, uh, the, what they're mostly competing with is people who had just been using Excel. Uh, they would put out a job application, resumes would come in, they'd put it into the spreadsheet and try to keep track of who they'd talk to, what stage of the process they were in, and all of this stuff. Another area is, is sort of adverti advertising type businesses. Advertising is almost one of the, the older forms of, of making money on the internet. It's really where, where Google is, is sort of generates most of their revenue. And so the, the main thing with an advertising based business is really about traffic. You're, you're trying to get as many people engaged with, with your content, your site, for as long a time as possible. The, the demographic information is, is also very important, and so if your website targets uh, a specific kind of people, then it, it'll be more valuable in terms of the ads that you can generate. The, the third category is, is relatively new since the, the advent of the, the smartphone a couple of years ago, and specifically the iPhone, it's uh, app-based businesses. And so app-based apps tend to be a little bit smaller and more single purpose than, than web services traditionally. Um, the nice thing about them is that they have a, an upfront cost, and so a lot of times uh, sort of an application like a horoscope that you would be used to getting for free on the web, you're sort of willing to pay 99 cents for as an app through the, the app store. And so uh, a company can sort of make a, a reasonable business by, by sort of finding these different sort of small services that they can provide, creating a, a small app for them, and then you know, generating money that, that goes directly to the user.